What's up guys? A lot of you have asked me when am I going to do a boss theme for the Nexus 7 and I've been playing with this launcher called the Special Forces which al allows you to do a tons of customization and although it's not a boss theme I'm telling you right now you can really make your Nexus 7 look like a boss. Check that out. So without further ado let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is download TSF Shell from the marketplace. Now some of you are going to think that it's pretty expensive but once you see this launcher you'll notice that you can do so much. I've also installed some other widgets that are free and a couple other things that they offer. So let's get started with the uh, interface. Let me go ahead and close this down. The first thing you'll notice is this is not like your typical traditional setup that you see on most Android uh, devices. One thing is that they have completely eliminated the uh, dedicated dock down here. Now I've used this or I tried to use this on my phone and I hated it, but when it comes to the actual uh, tablet, I love it. I love using this uh, on my Nexus 7 and I think it's great and you'll soon see why. Uh, for the first part, let's talk about this dock over here that's on the left hand side. I really really like this. I like that you can uh, close it and I like it most importantly because when you hold the device it's a lot more natural to swipe to the right and grab whatever it is. I usually put what it, the most uh, used applications here. I'm not done filling it up. And uh, rather than trying to do something like that, which is more uh, un or not as um, comfortable. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over this here on the left hand side, this dock. So here you can see there's like a little happy face and this is, like I said, the most frequently used applications. Uh, then you have over here what I like to call some sort of like integrated widgets that they offer. Of course you can still use your own widgets. This is what, another reason I like this launcher is that you're not just limited to what they offer but you can also use other widgets. There's also folders that you can create and contacts. Um, down here there's a couple more of different widget animations that you can do which I will talk about a little later and over here are settings so let's go to the actual user interface there's so much to do that I don't even know where to start let's uh, hide this one of the nice things about this is you'll see right now how customizable this launcher is we'll go ahead and do applications so for example I want to put a couple of applications here on the screen and I'm just gonna throw a couple in there it doesn't really matter at this point just kind of do that. Now what's cool is you, you can rearrange them like this. Okay, really nice. And then once you find the spot, let's say I want them over here, you could just do that. But what really sets this launcher apart is that there's no predefined grid. Uh, let me explain to you what that means. For example, APK extractor, I can do this. Okay, beats audio, I can move it down here like that. See, I can overlap icons. I can even do this. For example, if I hold this down and I use multi-touch gesture to rotate. Look at that. Beats audio is now this way, twisted to the left. And it's really cool because there's with this you can really take theming to a whole different level. Um, let's go ahead and add these to a folder. There's several ways to do that. One of them is this, there's this menu over here that allows you to do a lot of different things and I'll try and touch on everything but remember this launcher has so much to do that I'm not sure if I'll be able to talk about everything. This lasso here so when you do this lasso, when you push on that, and you, for example, push on, oh, sorry, lasso, and then I do this, I'm lassoing all these applications together, and I can rearrange them, I can gather them, I can do multi-choice, so for example, I can delete all of these, um, I can create a folder, which is what I'm going to do, or I can delete them. Um, or multi-choice just means that you're going to select them and do something else with them. So let's go ahead and create a folder. So it went ahead and threw everything into a folder. Let me go ahead and move this down here. Now this folder, like any other launcher and including the default um, Android, is that you can rename it to whatever you want. Not MISC, I mean, not MOAB, MISC. There you go. So this is my miscellaneous folder. And even from here, not something nice is that I can continue to add more apps by pushing on this plus sign down here. So for example, if I want to add Chrome, if I want to add cut the rope, and the nice thing, I don't know if you're paying attention, is for example, dead trigger. If I push on dead trigger, it will, it will take it away from this application list so I don't add it twice. So it's really impossible to do that. Let me go ahead and add a couple more, and that's about it. So I'm done, close that. Now this is cool, I have my folder here, but another nice thing about this is that if I do this, 
I can take applications out of the folder, kind of like throwing them out there and say, mm, okay, I want to use my Amazon one or a calculator. And however you do the gesture, you could do something like that, it will work. So once again, this launcher has a lot of different uh, customizations. Let's go back to this over here. Um, we've talked about that. Let's go ahead and add some of these widgets. So there's, for example, memo. You can add some notes. So for example, let's add a note here. Let's see, this is cool. Pardon my weird writing. Go ahead and do that. This is cool. It doesn't even look like I wrote that. It looks terrible. Add another memo. Hold that down. I'll just do this right here. Whoa, I keep touching it. Ah, let me hide that. Move this over here. Now, one thing to note, guys, this launcher is still in beta. Beta. So, you might see a couple of bugs, but I'll tell you what, it works great, even though it's in beta, and the, the developers are doing a phenomenal job um, keeping up with this. So, there you go. See, you can move things around. A couple other nice things is, uh, for example, you can add music. Move that over here. And for whatever reason, mine doesn't work properly, but if you look at their demo, you're supposed to see a music album list where you can just kind of like flick through it. Um, I've tried to get it to work. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's because I'm using the Nexus 7, but I've yet to uh, get it to work. So anyhow, you, there's a couple other nice ones, like the album is really nice. So just to kind of give you um, a brief overview of what it looks like. There's other widgets. Let me swipe to the to the left to show you some of the actual things that I've done. So for example, this is one of my screens that I have. So some of the popular apps that I like to use. And I, as you can see, I shifted them. Here's a nice little widget that is my daughter that I like to see. <laughs> nice little blimp that says uh, the special forces. And of course, my different uh, folders, for example, my tools and stuff like that, that I like to, to use. Um, and of course, I could just push on it like that. Um, I'm going to just show you another uh, one that I've done. So this is my games. Um, dedicated uh, screen. As you can see, if I try to draw Pac-Man and my terrible Android that I can't draw. So these are all my games with my weather widget down there, which is kind of nice. And you can, I think, hide this. Just a little cool animation, show you what the weather is like. Um, so you can see, I love how you can just theme things out. If I swipe, if I double tap here on the on this, oops, sorry, it takes me to my app a drawer and this has a really cool animation you could do something like that so this is where all of your apps are um, from here what you can do is for example um, and there's so much you can change the different transition animation so right now you're seeing this one let's see what this one does yeah see so it does something like that um, this one let's just do that oh, this one's pretty cool I remember seeing that one I like that it kind of fades away um, I think let's go back to the original one Actually, it was this one. This one's really nice. And as you swipe, you can do something like that. It's really, really neat. So let's go ahead and move that. So that's the transition. A is how you sort them. So right now, it's A is alphabetical order. There's also a time when you downloaded them. So it's either before or after. So let's go ahead and close that. And then I believe these are settings. So here is really nice. So for example, if I wanted to hide, and here's a little, you can see a little eye there. I have a couple of them hidden. So right here, it's showing me the ones that, for example, phone. I don't really use phone. That's why it's hidden. So now it's not going to show. So you can hide different apps from the app drawer. Um, forgot what this one does. Oh, this is the grid size. So right now, it's 6 by 6. So if I really wanted to make, make it so that a lot of applications fit, I'll do 12 by 10. And there it is. Look at that. That's, that's nuts, right? It's too much. Let's do 10, 9 by 10. So that's pretty nice. I'll, I think all my apps are just about all my apps fit in here. So the customization is phenomenal. I'll just go back to 6 by 6 here. Okay. And while we're in here, there's also auto, auto grid size, which if you just select that, it'll automatically depending. So I think it's that's what they believe is the best, which would be a 10 by 8. Background transparency. So I don't know if you notice right now it's bleeding in a little bit. Um, I, well, I don't want it to have any transparency, so it would be dark like that. I kind of like the dark theme. So let's go back to this screen. Uh, let's use the dock again and show you, um, I showed you some widgets, the weather one, the music one. I'll show you this here. These You saw the airship here and a couple of the clouds. And you can animate these too, so if you click on animation, it kind of does little things, a ghost fly around and stuff, which I'm not going to talk about too much. 
Uh, let's go into this one, the settings. So settings is where you can modify and make this more customizable. For example, the desktop. You can lock the desktop from having uh, to prevent any changes. So for example, if you have a little one, you don't want them to mess with things, you can just lock it. Uh, the desktop orientation, portrait mode, and I'm not gonna go through every single one of them because again, there's so many of them, but just to give you an idea what you can do, um, you can even hide the notification bar and stuff like that. Uh, wallpaper, so you can change like the, for example, the different transitions and speeds that, that when you, when you uh, swipe from left to right, uh, there's different um, preferences that menu, remember that was on the left, you can shift it, um, yeah, to the right. I was gonna say I didn't I never remember seeing one at the bottom and that may be a turnoff for some it is for me while using the phone but not in the tablet I love it in the tablet I like it on the left side uh, there's a couple other things like drawer and I'm like again I'm not gonna go through every single one of them there's also gestures for example uh, if you swipe two fingers up you can set it to do a specific command um, same thing with left so it does support uh, gestures different folders, um, preferences, and also you can have like unread counts. So if you have an email, it has a little thing like that. You can back up and restore your different um, settings or look, and of course restart the TSF shell. So another thing that you can do is now that we went into settings is icon. So for example, this is how far you can customize this. Uh, the icons look great, but let's say you want to take it to a whole different level. I like, like I said, I like the dark theme. So let's see, ooh, I like that little kind of carbon fiber look. So look at that, you can change different, the way your icons are going to look. Ooh, I think I like that one better. That one looks clean. Um, actually, let's go back to the carbon kind of looks like carbon fiber and then here you could see that there's different types of highlights that you can do so for example that highlights the top this one kind of highlights it a little bit more um, which is actually looks very clean I like that one better you could also change so this is giving you an example of what your icons will look and then at the bottom here I like the black where it where it states the text um, this one here because it actually uh, specifies a little bit more text or has more text so I like that so let's go ahead and run with that so I like that dark theme so you could see what the icons look like look at that it looks dark but now we need to change our wallpaper so you can see just really easy how everything is just uh, dynamic and you don't have to do something crazy so let's set the wallpaper oh yeah look at that that looks awesome dark theme um, so yeah this is this is just a, a, a quick overview on that um, let me show you guys some other stuff here there are different themes that you can also buy and they give you one for free so you can just uh, push on online and then at the very bottom here Google Play most of the themes I've noticed that they're around two three dollars um, US dollars uh, depending on where you live it could vary and the price may be a little different so let's see here um, go back here so yeah those, that's if you want to buy themes uh, you can select help to learn more about the uh, the launcher and of course the different uh, shortcuts to turning on Wi-Fi Bluetooth airplane mode and the ringer um, so yeah this is a very very uh, cool uh, launcher and like I said I've only sort of scratched the surface I recommend it and believe me the tablet experience on this is just phenomenal I really like my black theme it looks great the other thing that you can do is uh, there's different homes so you can see you can it's very hard to see maybe I should change the background on this because <laughs> it, it uh, it's very difficult let's go ahead and change the background on this again let's do this one this one's pretty clean um, yeah that one's nice so when you do this you can see oh so this is your um, application and then you can just do this to find uh, whichever uh, screen you want to go to so for, for example if I want to go to this screen I just do that and you can also set for example if I want this to be my home screen actually I want this to be my home screen my games all I have to do is tap here where it says home or that little home and it's made it my home so whenever I push on home it will take me to my games so this has been a quick uh, look at TSF launcher and there's a lot more of the things that you can do for example create contacts and make shortcuts but really the customization on this launcher uh, takes Android to a whole different level and you can create different themes with this so this is a great start and to making your tablet look like a boss
So as I stated before, TSF Launcher is still in beta, so there might be a couple of quirks that you will find, but the developers are doing such a great job in updating it, and I can just see this potentially being one of the best launchers out there, not only for phone, but I think it fits more for a tablet, and just in my opinion, mainly for the, uh, the docking thing. Uh, what did you guys think? Uh, if you guys actually end up buying it, uh, let me know, send me your theme or how you set yours up. I kind of want to see what people are doing out there to hopefully maybe create a boss theme uh, using TSF Launcher, mainly because you can do so much and the possibilities are really uh, becoming endless. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like technology news, let your friends and family know about it. Subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what I'm doing, follow me on Twitter and Google+. I'm constantly there. Uh, once again, guys, thanks again for following and thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.